daddy, daddy, daddy. Uh, at this point, with make the crown part one, two, and three, you are sure right that I'm obsessed. Hello, my name is Austin, and welcome to episode four of my strange edition where I make crowns during this quarantine. <laughs> As if I have anything better to do before any of these. And today, I take inspiration from these vintage king crowns inspired from the medieval time. In gold, of course, mine looks like it was carved out of gold, but trust me, there was no metal involved in this project. Except for some soda cans. So here are the crafts you will need. First is some aluminum sheets. I cut these out of soda cans, and I will show you how to do that. Then I got some lace, some lace strip. Look at that. You're probably wondering why do we need lace to make a crown? Well, you're gonna figure that out very soon. This is this is getting a little bit too slow. I just grab a bunch of craft from AliExpress. Well, I'm just gonna put everything in the description box below so we can skip through this long as boring part. Okay. All right. So to turn these cans into sheets, of course, finish your soda and then clean them out. And then just use a knife to chop off the top and then scissor it down the middle. And then you just cut off the bottom and you got yourself a sheet of aluminum. Aluminum cans are very, very stubborn. So to straighten them out, just roll it in the opposite direction against the edge of a table. So now we're gonna attach these together to form a continuous strip. First, get something to protect your table so you don't get glue on it. About uh, one centimeter away from the edge, you're just gonna apply some glue. This should be enough. So take the next strip and we're gonna overlap it to clamp them together. That should do. You can spread them out like this to get an even layer so it doesn't just squeeze out. And now we wait for them to dry. So after the glue has set, and this will be the general shape of the crown. This is the part that the lace comes to the party. So grab your lace and grab your super glue. And we're gonna stick the lace onto the strip of aluminum. And I choose lace because after we paint the lace in gold, it's gonna give the effect of a strip of gold that has been engraved. You're gonna carefully spread the liquids of glue in thin layer. Place the lace onto the layer of glue. Make sure that you just place it onto the strip, not stretching the lace. Liquid super glue sip into the fabric of the lace and sort of crystallize it. First row is done. Now I'm going to take a different style of lace as the center row. And after this is done, I'm going to go back to this lace for the final row. You get the idea, right? So I'm done. That took like two meters of lace for this and a meter of lace for the middle. But yeah, we're done. I think this looks really great. Like you could even use it as a very high fashion belt. We're gonna paint this in gold. So grab your acrylic paint because we're gonna need to do some experiment first. Oh, oh, poor little Austin. Little did he know that eventually I would just bought a can of gold spray paint and sprayed it all over the crown. So all of these mixing and painting is completely pointless. So we can just skip it from here. Alright, let's go to the next step. Okay, so guys, I just realized that painting the lace in acrylic doesn't really work because the paint doesn't get into the nooks and crannies of the lace. And also I don't like the color that much even though we have customized it. So I decided to spray paint. And I'm gonna spray paint the entire thing after we have finished. Off the complete frame of the crown, so let's get this part later. Next step, which is making 
the peaks of the crown. So take the pattern and trace it on a sheet of aluminum with a permanent marker. That's Sharpie for your American. Cut it out with a pair of scissors. Nothing too complicated yet. Just use the tip of a utility knife and punch out that little triangle in the middle. Repeat the process until you got yourself seven or eight of these. Oh yes, some close-up shot. Yes. All right, now for that engraving effect, just take some more lace with super glue, attach it along the surface of your aluminum pattern. Once you got all of your, your peaks, your peaks for the crown, stick your piece on the back side of that strip that we've made earlier. Again, don't mind the paint. We're gonna spray paint the entire crown later on. Oh yeah, and also take your leaf, your metal leaf, put some glue on it and attach it onto the strip. You also need to hammer it down so it lies completely straight against the surface of the strip. And then you pretty much just repeat the process of attaching the pieces, alternating with the triangle and the leaf in between. As you can see, I have my crown strip rolled up tightly around this roll up tape so that after the glue has set, the strip would remain its curved shape. Or was that some excess strip? Well, I'm sorry little guy, but you gotta go. And it's never too late to add some touch up with super glue on some area that you find not sticking yet. It's been a day and we can finally get the cake out of the oven. Oh yes, you see that curvature that I was talking about earlier? This is what you want. All right, now for some engraving detail along the rim. I have a batch of rhinestones. And I would never use them for any project because, well, it's, as you can see, it's not very sparkling or reflective. So we're gonna use it for this project. <laughs> Hello, it's Austin from VoiceOver again. It's getting a little bit boring, isn't it? Well, in the meantime, I'm gonna tell you some fun facts about Crown that I pulled directly from Google. Claire Ford was paid less than Maximum. Oh, wait, this is 55 things you didn't know about the Crown, the Netflix series. Oh yeah, imagine if you were the queen and people make a series about your past and you're not even dead yet. She would be pointing at the TV and went like, Oh, that's rubbish. That's completely bullshit. Because, because of course, TV shows are never 100% accurate. Anyway, I'm sorry. Let's get back to the project. Now, I'm sure that you're nodding your head and wondering, Austin, what the f*** are you doing? This looks like trash. Well, well, be patient. Because once we're done with all of these, we can cover them all in gold spray paint. And it's gonna look great. Trust me. Now before we spray paint the crown, we will have to prime the surface. So take your silver acrylic paint and make sure that you cover all of the nooks and crannies. Priming is important, so make sure that you don't skip it. Because if you do, you're not gonna regret it. This is when you don't prime it with the silver paint first. And this is with the primer. You can see the difference. It's more gold, it's more shiny. And this is just bad. Finally, we can spray this bad boy in that lustrous gold spray paint. 
is always my favorite part, except for the toxic film. While we wait for the paint to dry, we can work on the adjustable part of the crown. To do this, allow me to introduce you Austin from the last video. And by that, I mean you, you, you will have to check out my last video for this process because I don't remember how to instruct through this process again. I'm sorry, it's been months since I filmed this video and now I can finally sit down and record the voiceover. I've been very busy the past months. The crown frame casted in 18 karat gold. Spray paint. We finally reached the crowning jewels of this project. Get it? Because we're making a crown. Anyway, it's time to ornament the frame with some jewels. Some fake jewels I bought online, of course. I have some rubies. Some sapphires. and some white diamonds. And if you ask, yes, I wish they were real. For this decorative thingy around the rubies, I take the gold wire and cut a strip of two centimeter and then just use a pliers. Bend the strip of wire into this number six shape. All you have to do is to make 70 more of these. Voila, we're finally done. Time for some montage. Thank you for watching. I hope this video inspired you, entertained you, and there are more of these on my channels for you to check out. And next time, it's not gonna be another crown video because I had quenched my thirst for my crown obsession. Obsession. Consider pressing the subscribe button and pressing the notification notification bell for my upcoming project. Oh, and do you have any idea DIY ideas? Comment down below, and I maybe will do it. I'm not going to promise. Goodbye!